Ooh, good morning, y'all. It's not even four o'clock yet. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's time to go to the gym pretty early for my taste. Um, something I wanted to do. Uh, it's gonna be quite challenging for the next two weeks, so got some pre-workout ready. Stack that up, with some carnitine, and um, yeah, today's gonna be back and shoulders. So let's go. Ahead. Alright guys, so first thing I'm doing right now is warming up my shoulders, doing some over-unders. Really great for getting the shoulders warmed up, shoulders mobile. <sighs> Highly recommend doing it, especially uh, for heavy chest day too. So since I'm hitting shoulders today, I want to make them nice and mobile. Followed by some pull-aparts. Pull-aparts are great for warming up the scapular area. Right after that, I want to get my triceps warmed up because uh, I'm going to be pushing, especially some heavy over -pre head press today. Uh, so I want my triceps warmed up just to assist me in that big overload. Then I want to do some uh, rows, some aggressive rows right now. So the rows pretty much uh, get me prepared for the motion, especially when I'm going to be doing uh, some uh, pen lay rows. You'll see that in a second. But uh, yeah, right now getting my wrist wraps on. I can figure out how to get this one on because uh, this one seems kind of seems looks like it's backwards. So. <laughs> After that, we're gonna hit up pull-ups first. All right, let's do the damn thing. Okay, let's talk about today's workout so far. So far, I started off with uh, neutral grip pull-ups. Trying to build uh, thickness in my back and my grip. Uh, really love it, really love building. Uh, trying to start from a dead hang stop and pull. Uh, trying to get those muscles activated. Um, I'm gonna switch to wide grip a little later. Try those, build more uh, width in my back. Uh, build the wingspan definition. Uh, but so far, loving it. I love to challenge myself with the weights, helps me build up my biceps more. Next up is the pen lay row. So, you can see here, my setup is kind of similar to a deadlift, where I approach the bar, uh, I want to sit back on my hips. Uh, from here, what I'm going to do is, with all my strength, uh, just be focused solely on power, is to pull that bar up straight to my chest and set it down, dead stop on the ground. Uh, with this, helps me build up uh, some more uh, strength, especially for my uh, my pulls and my deadlift, um, as well as help build up my upper back, my traps. Uh, helps me test my uh, overhand grip as well. Um, trying to stick to a lighter weight, uh, knock out repetitions, and then later on go heavier, um, so I get used to the dead stop pull. Um, a lot different from doing a traditional uh, bent over row with a bar with a barbell. Uh, but it's really good. I really like it. I really enjoy it. Uh, it's all preference. But uh, all right. So uh, next up, I'm about to do some uh, dumbbell, single arm dumbbell rows. Let's get to it. So I know some of y'all are thinking, dude, why the hell do you want to come to the gym that early? Uh, you know, I haven't eaten yet. All I had was uh, some uh, carnitine pre-workout and I just came straight here um, to be honest uh, it's something that I wanted to do I wanted to challenge myself uh, it's a personal goal I set for myself to keep myself motivated so yeah waking up extra early go to the gym uh, kind of change it up my usual routine uh, versus always coming into the evening afternoon uh, yeah this is more so just to keep myself motivated so it's quite a challenge. It's really difficult, to be honest. Um, like to be able to sleep early, wake up extra early before the sun rises, come in here. But then again, you know, I come in, there's already people here, like three, 4 a.m., you know, just coming in at five, you know, and keeps them motivated, you know, throughout the day. So, uh, yeah, like I said, just a challenge for myself. If you want to, know how to stay consistent just dedicate yourself to keep doing it it's just the discipline so let's go ahead and kill this weight all right so moving on from the back workout I'm straight into shoulders so knocking out military press extra heavy 
Uh, my goal is to definitely try to knock out maybe 185. I can see that being attainable. Uh, nothing too crazy. Uh, you know, small, small goals here and there uh, that are easily obtainable. So it keeps myself satisfied. Keeps myself looking forward to trying something difficult uh, later on in the future. But aside from that, it's really good. Um, one of my favorite lifts for sure. Yeah, next up we're gonna go ahead and uh, knock out some raises, and then end it with some traps, and then finish off with a cool down. So, talk about hitting 185, so. Safety first. Look guys, the sun's just rising. Whew. You know my favorite bombing place is all the way across the street, so it's open in time, I might just grab it. All right guys, so the next exercise right here is a lat raise, bringing it to the front. So what I'm doing here is I'm doing it seated. So I take my legs out of the equation because what happens is when I do it standing, I tend to cheat by using my legs, you know, a little bit of a jerk to like, get the weight up so really want to focus on using my deltoids raising it to the side bringing it to the front of me to get that front delt activation and then back to the side bring it down and repeat for a couple of reps so I find it very effective to work your lateral and frontal delts it's really challenging especially at this time of day where you don't have the energy but you just have your mental fortitude and just focus, just knock these reps out. All right, so moving on to the next exercise. We're doing some high pulls here. Really helps build those traps, front delts. Ooh, I can see it popping in the mirror. It's really great. Like, just doing these, doing it uh, Jeff Cavalier style. You guys have seen his videos. He showed doing high pulls. Really helps build the traps and shoulders. I really prefer this over doing it with a barbell, uh, just for the safety of my shoulders. Uh, doing it with the dumbbells, you have a lot more control, uh, more of a natural position to raise your shoulders up, so that way you prevent yourself from injury, from dropping the weights and like, you know, possibly having a tear in the shoulder. But yeah, I really love these. These are something uh, I definitely enjoy doing. Um, helps build up my traps, aside from doing shrugs. Well, that pretty much wraps up the day. Trust me, this is hard. <laughs> uh, it's definitely something that I wanted to try for myself. For those that uh, want to give it a shot, that's all up to you. It's just a, a personal challenge for myself uh, to really wake up that early, go on an empty stomach, just to really test myself. You know, it's, uh, it's a really difficult challenge that I put myself up to, but I'm willing to do it. Did it for a couple days. I'm just gonna see how much uh, longer I could, uh, I could put up with it. And if I tap out, I tap out, you know. But uh, I'm trying to keep this up for maybe two weeks. So I got a, another week to go. <laughs> and if I do like it, it becomes autonomous for like the month and then becomes a new routine. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty hangry right now. <sighs> Definitely wanna go home and just get a post workout, take my supplements, just call it a day, relax. But yeah, let's get up out of here. All right guys, so we're back from the gym. About to get my post recovery on, start off with a protein shake, and then top it off with some bread and chain amino acids. Great for muscle recovery. Remember guys, if you like this video, give it a big old thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss a video next time. Also comment down below, let me know what your challenges are. What are some of the small milestones you set for yourself to obtain? Because I want to motivate you. And if you guys are motivating me to finish this, that's really great because it's not easy and really hard. But I want it that bad and I really want to give it a shot and test myself. So that's a good damn thing. Alright, you guys take care. See you guys next time.